I'm talking about the celebrant. The God is there and is in control. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to invite our dear Mrs. Omani to come and lead us in singing. Please let's sing with all our energy, with joy, because this is the day that the Lord has made. Name is God gave us the name that is above all names. Amen. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing, blessed be the name. Keep going. 
speaking. You're speaking now. <laughs> Jesus, we worship. 
Jesus, we give you praise.
something to say about it. Let's raise up our hands. First, that's how we're going to know how many minutes we can allow for our person, whether it's two minutes or five minutes. So, All right, very good. So, please, uh, can you signify by raising up your hands, please? Sister here. I'm going to read from the book of Psalm 71, verse 6 and 8. When I say I, I mean she. I have depended on you from that. You cut the cord when I came from my mother's womb. My praise is always about you. I will become an example to many people because you are my strength. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, glorifying you all day long. So the good news about this is with God's strength and support, you can become an inspiration to others. She's an inspiration to us all. So I'm going to call Pastor Ethia of UCF, who is ready to say something about the celebrant. And you know he's a pastor. If I do not see any other hand, I'll give him all the 15 minutes so it might turn into a sermon. So you better raise up your hand. <laughs> Amen. Uh, there's no risk of me talking for 15 minutes at all. Uh, not because there's not much to say about our selling brand, but we are respecters of time. We praise God for all who are gathered here. I stand uh, not only in my personal capacity, uh, Reverend George F. Young, pastor of United Christian Fellowship of Arlington, but also as president of the Joint Ethnic Baptist uh, Churches of Texas, and a great friend and uh, extended family member, uh, member of the extended Lukunira family. We want to thank God for my sister. We thank God for her life. I was thinking about some things to say about her, and some adjectives came into my mind. Strong supportive, sweet, and uh, soft as well. Amen. Amen. You know, I want to say strong. Listen, listen, I want to say start with strong. You know, there are some people in life who kind of have an outward veneer of, uh, on the outside, they look like they are strong and they are hard. But on the inside, when you get to know her, you find out the softness in her, the sweetness in her. And we thank God for her strength. She's a strong and visible supporter of her husband, but in all of his ministerial duties. The work of pastors, needless to say, is very sacrificial. Sometimes we must leave our family business to attend to the business of others. Yet, she is constantly at her husband's side. We thank God for her. Let me also say, as the president of Jericho, that we are grateful for her support amongst the pastor's wives. When we get together, we can always count on hearing her opinion. She will tell us her opinion uh, with no holds back. But uh, it helps us uh, bring on our minds in the right direction and guides us in the way to go. It is a wonderful thing to see the children all uh, out and them. Uh, participating in this great time for their mother. Again, on behalf of my family personally, on behalf of the United Christian Fellowship of Arlington, 
on behalf of the Joint Ethnic African Baptist Churches of Texas, Joe Court, I want to say to my sister, we love you and we thank God for everything that you mean to us to strengthen you as you go forward in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 the way I felt I perceived that when I first met her uh, in 2004 and she looks hard on the outside but later I realized she's so soft on the inside. So I like to call Mrs. Uh, Fadi 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 I thank you all for our life. I've known Mrs. Obunera for a long time. When I met her, I heard a lot of things about her, and I don't like talk about the information. I started studying her, watching her. Later on, I said, this woman, she's a woman of God. Don't condemn her. Maybe because of the way she looked, people condemn her. <laughs> but I thank God for today. We are one of the we are best friends. You know that. We are just been friends. <laughs> Until now, we are going to post next month together. <laughs> <laughs> I thank God for your life. You are a strong woman in the Lord. You are a giver. I don't think there is nothing Mrs. Sogunera cannot give anybody. She's a good cook. Uh, anytime we are going to post like that, I will tell her, cook okra soup or bring it to me. Uh, <laughs> really, to me too? Yes. I thank God for your life, and I thank God that God will continue to be with you. Um, this one I'm going to say it in Yoruba because she said she's one year older than I. Um, <laughs> and she said, go bara me bara. Me Mrs. Ogunia not if you. She said she's older than me for one year. Because of that. Mrs. I can use them if I'm waiting for that. love you so much. God bless you. We are waiting for tomorrow and God will do my thing tomorrow in Jesus name. Well, I'd like to in that moment the Lord Mrs. Ishoma and after Mrs. Solomon. Uh, I want to thank God for the life of my sister Mrs. Ogunera. She's a woman of faith. She's a child of God. She's a strong supporter of her husband as the pastor said earlier on. She loves her husband, she loves her children, and she loves her extended family. She has gone to Nigeria several times for family, and she supports her husband. She's a woman of faith and prayer. In 1999, I believe, there was an accident, and her first son died was involved in the accident. And that time, all of us were panicking because we didn't know the outcome. But she stood, trusting the Lord, believing that the Lord will heal him, that he will get out of it. And by the grace of God, God answered our prayers. <laughs> Outside, she's tough. She's tough, but she's loving. And she's a giver. She cooks, you know that she cooks everything to Houston, to my husband. My husband is the father. She will cook soup, as my sister said, she loves to cook, and she will bring food to us, cooked, already cooked. And I appreciate God for her own ministry. You know, she has a ministry with her husband, and she's doing it well. My prayer is that the Lord will continue to help you, the Lord will continue to uphold you, and by the grace of God, you will succeed, you will excel, you will live many years, Amen. and you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. Amen. Thank you for your love for my family, and for all that you have done. The Lord bless you. Amen. Happy birthday. I appreciate everything, everybody.
that in service on our team. Everybody to know Sarah Wakayo is to love her. However, she's sweet and sour. <laughs> she looks gentle. She's my daughter. But I tell her every day that I thank God that her mother gave birth to her. <laughs> if that woman has not given birth to her, I don't know what will have become of that woman. I know. <laughs> I love you, Tayo. Like everybody has said, I never said she sucks. Tayo is not sucks. <laughs> She is testifying to this. She's not soft by any means. She will pinch you and she'll be asking, Did I do anything? <laughs> she will hug you, not because she loves you, it's because she's looking for trouble. <laughs> but I told her on the day of her birthday, I said that we pray for you that all these. I God will take it away from you. <laughs> now that you are grown, then you will behave like an adult. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, Amen. I thank God for your life. Amen. You've gone through thin and thick, but God has seen you through. Amen. God will take you to higher ground. Amen. God will stand by you. Amen. God will say everything that He has promised you. He will fulfill in the name of Jesus. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. So I have two more people. Those of you may be. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it's going to be just two, two minutes now. Mrs. Oyegoke. And after uh, Mrs. Uh, a, and then Elisa. <laughs> I just wanted to say a little thing about my sister, uh, my vice president for Ogomo So, um, this is I mean, she might look gentle on the outside, but she's tough. And she says as it is. She doesn't keep anything back or talk at the back. She will say to you as it is. That's, if she's not in the meeting, a Gomosha meeting, everybody feels it. We know she's not there. So she makes the meeting, I mean, lively and jovial. And I mean, for real, if she's not in the meeting, we, we, we will know she's not there. So she's a very important person in our Gomosha Parako. We love you, Mrs. Ogunia. The Lord bless your new age. You will see, you, you will celebrate more and more, yes, in good health, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Tyler. How are you, Tyler? Because it's just eight months. <laughs> yeah, she said eight months and not the box in the market. You are older than me by eight months. So, I call you, Tyler. You know I love you. Uh, you all don't know her. She's very tough. Right? <laughs> oh, guru. And I always say that song. We thank God because God made you who you are today. And He know what you are going to go through and build you that way. You will seem tough to everybody. And that's the wall the Lord has placed on you. And the enemy sees and they're like, I'm not going near this person. Yeah. So in everything God do for us, it's for a purpose. Yes. I thank God for your life. Happy sister's birthday. I'm so happy. This woman right here, 20 years ago, um, when she was doing her 40s, I'm not me more anymore. <laughs> she, she said, I was saying, I must do this, I must do that, and eventually I ended up not doing anything. And then uh, she said, uh, was it for me? But one thing I love her for, she called a spade spade. 
If I'm hungry, I call her kitchen, I tell her I'm coming for shopping. I go to her kitchen, I take anything, I go to her room, I go to everywhere. Her kids, I have my boyfriend there, I have the king of my village there, I have the one I don't like there. <laughs> so and we are just family. She has been there for me when I was going through turbulence, and it seems the world is coming to an end. This woman will call me at any point in time, and she will say, ah, already, I'm a jam. Thank you for all you have to And you are still twin. You are a young girl. So twins after this, the Lord will bless you. Thank you very much. Mrs. Ajayi, Dr. Mrs. Ajayi. And the last person is Mrs. Solai Inka. And that uh, by
A house is usually very open. Open to whosoever. People are coming and they are stranded. Come. They are coming to Pastor Bunaro's house. And of course, if you are coming to a man's house, who are you really coming to if the woman will not allow you? Every kind of person lived with them when we were in Greece. Very open. I thank God for your life. And I pray that the Spirit of God that is in you will never depart from you in Jesus' name. Amen. A wonderful giver. A giver indeed. She can give anything. And of course, that's one of the reasons why she's very accommodating. Uh, well, many people have said that she, can, she, she says it's as it is. And there has to be some people like that. Yeah, because many people talk behind. But as for her, Anything people say behind, she's coming to tell you right in your front, in your presence, she will say it all. Which is the best thing, which is the, the, it's better than just backbiting or gossiping. So I pray the Lord will continue to increase you. For all these are our children, you know, many of them. Uh, I don't even think any of you know me anymore. Because even when I came to uh, Dallas a few years ago, it was only Sarah that I met. Yeah. Eh? Abigail was the only one I met for the first time. For all these three, we have lived together in New York. Eventually, we left Greece the same time because we won the lottery the same time. We were always at the market selling. And that particular evening, she came, a pastor actually came to get me to another place so that we could go and make our market. And she said, Mama Buku, Mama Buku, Mama Buku, and America. America. And eventually, I believe it was the same day our own, our own um, documents also came. I was waiting for my husband before I would open my mouth. So that I it's only that, ah, why did you not even let me know first? So we want to thank God. It's been a very long journey. We live together in, in, um, in New York, the same, uh, the same house, I mean the same apartment, three bedroom apartment, we live together before. They relocated to Texas and we were still in New York and eventually we relocated to New Jersey. The Lord will increase you because his face will shine more and more upon you. You will eat the fruit of your labor. You will not die in the midst of your age. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Congratulations. So why did we have to beg you before this is the rest of the story, a story that no one else could have told other than you. So I'm going to find you later. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so. And then she told me, I told, I asked her on Wednesday. I said, what, at what date is actually your birthday? She said, the fifth. And I said, oh, do you want to go to the I said, because I'm 10. He said, hmm, oh, do you want two years? <laughs> so two years, I told you, mom, you can't buy that in the market. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'd like to invite Pastor and Mrs. Shed Wallachide to lead us in the next praise worship. I hope you are ready. We're trying to make sure we get out of here no later than 8.30. I will see how the sermon to preach. And we have the UCF choir will be singing right. Do they are singing right after them. Ten minutes. Come on, give the Lord. How many do we have? To the Bible of the tribe of Judah. I want to quickly say this. Tell me it's about 741. It's about uh, five minutes, in about five hours. And my child is going to be celebrating my birthday. I want to give the Lord the clap of you. know, Matthew 7 7 says, Ask and it will be given unto you. I'm asking each and every one of you to, to give me a gift on my birthday. I don't worry about faith. I want it by sight. <laughs> Hallelujah! One of the things that I love to do when I go to places to minister is uh, to sing hymns. And slay, slay. I love to sing hymns and smile, but that's what the Lord put in my heart that I should do, and I'm going to start with a hymn. Oh 
So the UCF choir, please season me.
once again, I'd like to invite the Faith Family Singers. Oh, it's so cold. We're here to celebrate our special mommy. Thank you so much, mommy and daddy, for inviting us. We really appreciate the love for the years. Hallelujah! We're going to dance and we're going to give God all the glory of the earth for our money this evening. Amen. Just lift up your hands to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am.
point, I would like to invite Reverend Christopher Ogidon to just give a short uh, message uh, at the request of the celebrants. We are supposed to. Why me? Everybody has been taking the time. But to the glory of God, I believe we have all been ministered to. It's been a wonderful, wonderful night. However, even when God knew that uh, it's going to be this fun, uh, the message I have for us is like a challenge. It's like a challenge. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, in the, according to a statement attributed to John Livingston, a Scottish minister, he said a line of praise is what a leaf or a page of prayer. An hour of praise is what a day of prayer or morning. So is indeed a worthy, worthy, worthy thing to praise the Lord. If you know how to think, you will know how to thank. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we just want to appreciate you. It is you that all glory, honor, and adoration belongs to. Thank you, O oh God, for what you have done. Thank you for pointing our attention to it and giving you the credence, the praises that you desire. Father, to you be the glory. Everlasting Father, I'm your son, and uh, I know we still need to hear your word. Lord, speak through me. Use me as a funnel. Touch the life of your people. Thank you, Everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. A summon to praise. Thank you, Mommy, for summoning us to Come and praise God. It's not many bad day occasions that we have a praise night set aside. Not only that, we are starting tomorrow again with a worship service in the house of the Lord. So it's not just a fun fair. It's, an, it's a situation, an occasion to give honor to who honor is due. And therefore, we give thanks to, your, to God Almighty on your behalf. Everybody has been speaking. The singers have been ministering. And uh, like people have been mistaking your age. You are like 20 years younger. That is not the work of human being. Thanks to our daddy. Anyway. That is the work of God. Thanksgiving and praising God is something that uh, the Bible commands. In the book of 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, Give thanks in every circumstance, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So it is the will of God that we praise him. Amen? Amen. However, how often do we do it? In most cases, we are always concerned and consumed with
is complaining. Whatever good that has been given to us yesterday, today we forget about it. We are asking for fresh and new ones. And more often than not, we complain it's not enough. The new, the small that you have gotten, do you deserve it? Do you qualify for it? Does God owe anyone anything? Tonight is uh, a night to remind us of what we are supposed to be doing constantly. Praising God. Praising God. He said, in all circumstances, because even when you are in the down turn of life, you cannot change it. It is only God that can. And therefore, praising Him is simply telling Him you have given it to Him and you know He can do it. And you are trusting Him, He will do it. Yes. I, the Lord ministered that very chapter that I gave to our mother because when you look at it, it is personalized. Starting with I, I, I. I will extol the Lord. And we see all kind of uh, either noun or adjectives like or verb that has been given to how to praise God. There is no word that can qualify completely for the ways to praise God. Amen? Amen. We are going to be learning and continue to learn to worship, to praise. But make sure you are doing it enthusiastically, highly involved in it. No wonder there are some 100 uh, or 103. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. With every vein, with everything that is in you. I'm not talking about the dancing, that is good to dance. It's good to dance. Because when you are rejoicing in the presence of the Lord, you are uh, actually acknowledging that he is doing something. The praising God with everything that is in you, on your knees. Uh, we have a slogan, and many, many of us are familiar with it. I owe, I owe, off to work, work I go. It's a slogan to indicate our desire to be committed to our creditors. Creditors that, you, because uh, you, we get everything all, almost by our door, higher purchase. And therefore, we, we have that commitment. You go to work every day, you do double shift, triple shift, night shift, morning shift for material things. That does not guarantee anything. Does not guarantee your happiness. Does not guarantee your contentment. Because the Bible says it is the blessing of God that makes it rich and does not add sorrow to it. Amen? Amen. Well, so in that case, what? about the one that is responsible for our physical need, our spiritual need, our protection. If you are unable to breathe again on your own, do you know what it would amount to? Who is responsible? Oh, because you eat good food. Yeah? Is that the reason? You are your, you are your feet dancing, dancing, dancing. There are lots of people your age that doesn't do half of that, and they find themselves in the hospital. So everything that we are, everything.
everything we are able to do, everything we are able to accomplish, is because He allowed it. So, can we change the slogan from I owe, I owe, off to work I go, to I owe, I owe, down on my knees I come. Thanking God for your life. We thank God for your life, mom, mom, mother. It's not that you haven't gone through problems or challenges. There are many people that didn't get go through half your what you have gone through in life and they have gone. They've been consumed by the challenges. It is by the grace of God that we are what we are. And therefore, let us live a life that celebrates God all the time. Oh, that man. Praise the Lord. Are you the present time or the complaining time? Is your attitude that of arrogance or an attitude of gratitude? Amen. Amen. Giving gratitude to God is what we owe. And for whatever God has given that you are complaining about, you don't deserve it. You don't. What can we give to God to, to deserve five minutes of life? Ten minutes. Uh, God takes us through very many arts of life. And He has rewritten your own life. Or uh, maybe I forgot the time you were relating to me that uh, when Mother wanted to give birth to you, she traveled to uh, Dublin or to London to give birth to you. <laughs> Yet here you are. More than half of your life, you have lived overseas. Is it because you plan it? No. I appreciate God for you because you understand that. You are acknowledging it. And that is the reason you are requesting all of us to come and praise God with you. But the challenge is, it is not a one day affair. Praising God is to not be for her alone. Praise God that you are here. Amen? Amen. Praise, praise God that you have plan to be there tomorrow. Because nothing is guaranteed. Only God is the guarantor. And because he's a faithful God. He's a God that never fails. He's a God that meets us at the at the weakest point of our need, which is expressed in even the, the psalm that we read, Psalm 45, or 145, beginning from verse 13. And we are talking about a God that his kingdom is from everlasting to everlasting, a God that never dies, a God that you can always count on. When you are counting on human being, regardless of the power and the position and the resources of that person, he can die tomorrow. Mm. Amen? Yeah. So, for what you have, he has done, for what he is doing, for what he will continue to do, please cultivate an attitude of gratitude. You and I owe and owe and owe down on our knees we should come to the Lord every day. That is the challenge that uh, we are seeing here. It's the son of David. They are praising God and he's 
saying that forever and ever, praise God. Every day, praise God. For all the things that he has done and all the promises, like I said, his dominion endures throughout all generations. He never decreases. It's a God that today we talk about the discovery, not about creation. The creation has taken place one time, and everything we are, we are finding out has been there. And therefore, trusting that God is the only solution, praising Him is the only key that will open the door. Remember, Paul and Silas, they were in the most secure prison yes. with most secure girls. They were praising God. Yes. Even while they were in chains. You remember what happened? Everything broke loose. They were freed. Are you in a challenge? Are you in a bondage? Are you in a problem? Press in. And you can have your miracle. We have heard of uh, kings in the Bible that went to war. And all they did was praise God. And God won the battle on their behalf. God grant victory in the most difficult situations when we praise Him. Amen. The Lord uphold all that is falling and raise all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon him and he never disappoints. He's a God that is not limited in resources. He's not limited by time or space. He's a God that you can count on. He's a faithful God, a compassionate God. Yes. Let us learn to praise him. Let us subdue our complaining. Amen? Amen? Because what you are getting, you are not even deserving. Is it because it's not man that will come to you, it will, will say to your face, it will go for a man, show you to Why are you asking of another today? When we want to when we are taking prayers and we talk about uh, uh, thanksgiving, our people cannot open their mouth. But when we want them to pray for needs, and especially cause their enemies, the whole building will be shaking. Learn to praise God and leave the rest to God. Because he knows your thoughts. Both spoken and unspoken. Remember the children of Israel? He said, the groaning of my people came to me. He didn't say they prayed to him. He didn't say they called on him. That's the kind of God he is. And he called somebody to take it over. Amen? Amen. If you know him, press him. And apart from that, finally, we should, regardless of what we become, regardless of what you attain, the greatest gift has been given to you. He gave you the gift of his son. How grateful are you? How thankful are you? How appreciative are you? You are taking it for granted. You can't even part with your own money, not to talk of your own child. Somebody who has given you his only begotten son is deserving of your praises. Oh, for a thousand tongues to praise him. 
as we continue with the celebration, I pray and I hope that uh, every one of us will take something with us. And that is, it's good to celebrate life, it's good to jubilate, it's good to enjoy. But let's praises of God Almighty continually be on our lips. Amen. Doors that have been shut will be open. Amen. Miracle that is long awaited will be gone. Amen. And victory that no one can help you to accomplish or attain shall be yours. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. If we spend from now till tomorrow praising you, you are deserving more of it. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you will continue to do. Lord, I pray that uh, uneasiness will be in our heart until we learn to praise you in the appropriate way so that uh, we will not be denying ourselves of the blessings that can come from praise. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. Psalm 90, verse 12, I believe. Teach us how to number our days so that we can have a wise heart. I didn't do English literature that much, but I can summarize a little bit of the sermon. That at the end of the day is teach us how to number our days so that we can have a wise heart. So I'd like to call on Reverend Olani Ray Oyelani to come and give us all a short prayer. Uh, I believe you are from United Kingdom, sir, right? Wow. You're welcome, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a great night indeed. And we bless the name of the Lord for the grace, for the privilege to gather together tonight to celebrate our dear mother. The best thing you can do for someone is to celebrate them when they are alive. Yes, sir. And we thank God. Even though we still have a long way to go, Amen. because by the grace of God, when she's celebrating 100, we shall all be there. Amen. 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 So we thank God. Uh, when you are asking people to talk, I don't want to come out to talk. Because you know him, I couldn't talk. Rapo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everything that is said, well, you are all truth. But the one thing I want to uh, discount and nullify him is about being a tough woman. What would you tell me to compare them? Hallelujah. Asabi, God bless you. Amen. We have blessed the name of the Lord for our life and we want to thank God for the grace God has given to you. We want to appreciate you for everything you have done and you are doing, especially in our family. We cannot appreciate you enough, but it's only God that will do that one for us. And we pray that God will grant you long life Amen. to enjoy the fruit of your labor Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No matter what anybody wants to say, my only word for you is continue to do as you are doing. Don't change. God knows why he made you whom you are. And it shall be well with you. Amen. In the 
name of Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate my father. He is my father. Uh, we say our brother, oh, my brother, my brother, my brother. No, he is more than brother to me. He is my father. And we thank God for the grace that's been bringing us together and taking us this far. And we know that God has taken us this far. We see us through to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, because I don't want to take our time, let's go to what they asked me to come and do, is to come and pray. I reserve the rest until tomorrow by the grace of God. It shall be well with us in the name of Jesus Christ. I appreciate every one of us, everyone coming from far and near to grace this occasion. By the grace of God, the Lord in His face mercy will celebrate you in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not have any reason to mourn anyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we rise up on our feet for prayer? We give you all the glory. We give you all the
are people going to celebrate me? Where are people coming to rejoice with me? Your day of joy is around the corner in the name of Jesus Christ. And that day of joy will not meet you in the grave. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray as we come back home, the Lord will take home swiftly. We shall sleep in peace and wake up in peace. Tomorrow we hand it over unto the Lord. The Lord that granted us success today We make tomorrow a great, glorious one day in the name of Jesus Christ. And you shall dwell with us upon the mall on that glorious day. When we shall all appear before the great master, we shall not be condemned in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. We pray even for the celebrants. You celebrated 60. By the grace of God, you celebrate 80. You celebrate 100. If God granted you, like the sailor of old, you will block 120. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not in your life witness the death of any of your children and the children's children in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you. We pray for our daddy. God will have made you the edge. You will not become there. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you are carrying every one of us, by the special grace of God, you will continue to rejoice over us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we continue to rejoice over you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your day, as we look at it ahead, is going to be a glorious day. Amen. You will not disappear. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every one of us, we are stranger, sojourner pilgrimage in this country. By the grace of God, no one will return back home empty and in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not send that body of any woman in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with us. We cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this celebration of life today. Thank you God for Tayo. Thank you God for she is one of a kind. You created her very uniquely and she is displaying your glory in the world where you have placed her. Thank you that she is such a blessing to every one of us, not just our family, but to all of us. We thank you God that indeed she is making a difference in our world and we celebrate her. God to bless her, God to cause things wonderful to happen in our life. All our desires for ourselves, for our family, for our children, we pray mighty God that indeed you will call her. And for all of us who oh God have come today, we have all been reminded the importance of living a life of praise, the importance of living a life of gratitude. Grant of each one of us, oh God, the grace every day to learn to honor you with our praises, to learn to honor you with our gratitude, because without you, we are nothing. Thank you, God, that you are God, the Creator. And in you, we live and move and have our faith. We always appreciate you, God. We will be grateful. Lord, we pray for all our children. You say all of Tyre's children as a point of contact. That your blessing is blessed upon each one of them. And that your beautiful plan for each one of them will come to fruition. Grant unto each one of them, O oh God, to really know that you are their God. You are their creator. And they need to reckon with you. They need to invite you to their life. So that you to have fill them in every way. Know that sweet God go with us. We are trusting you that you bring us back in you tomorrow afternoon to continue the celebration. This is also God with your blessing. And bless us with a wonderful, blessful night. So that in yoga, we can only dwell in your bosom. Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. 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 Thank you.
Better voice. All right. After three. One, two, three.